Welcome to the two grumpy men, C. Grooms and Bobby May on the check-in. Yeah, yeah, what's good, what's good? What we doing All tonight? Right. What's going Woo. on, fam? Election year 2020. Yeah. Oh, shit. Shit just got real. <laughs> oh, shit now, you know. Shit everybody that real. filled out their little petition, you know, all the celebrities got together, you better pick a black woman. All right, well, you got one. All right, okay. you know, my choice was Abrams, but, you know, he went with um, uh, Kamala Harris. Safe you pick. Know. He went safe. Move the safe pick. Well, point. you know, I, yeah, I guess, you know, senator. She's a senator. You know, he was, he was a senator prior to becoming vice president. So, I mean, I, I get the pick. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of layers there, you know, um, a friend of mine, very close friend of mine, you know, he he said straight up, he said America was not ready for uh, a, a fair, a dark skin VP. He was referring to uh, Abrams, you know, and I said, damn, you know, I had to really think about that. I was like, well, you know, technically, I th- you know, I felt like she was the best pick. You know, she's, you know, strong personality, uh, unwavering. You know, I think they're all knowledgeable. Uh, all of the picks that he had lined up, you know, as far as what we knew, you know, they were all all very knowledgeable, you know, full of experience. So there's no question about that. But, you know, when I started to think, I said, well, Rice, you know, she served under President Obama uh, as, I think, Na- National Security um, Council. I think she was on that. Or what she is. is yeah, something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I get it. You know, it would have been a, you know, cool transition to go there, but I think I think her tirade against Snoop Dogg killed her in the interview because you know, you know, you 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 arguing with uh, entertainers like lowly entertainers, you know, you shouldn't. You're supposed to be above that. You're supposed to be taking a high road. So you know, you can't be getting down in the fray, the mix, you know, with the people, the entertainers that's supposed to control uh, the masses, you know, with the duping and stuff like that. So. But uh, I would have chose Abrams. Now, nah, well, let's keep, let's keep it funky. You know how it is. Like, you know, a lot, you know, we want to be, look, okay, here, here's the real deal. You know, I go into the, I go into a conversation presuming that people have intelligence. Like, I don't go and say, oh, this person is dumb off the gate. I don't know. You know, you know, you have to converse with people. So, but what we have learned is that over time, if you continue to feed people this information, and lies, you can dumb down the generation, you know, in combination with drugs and, you know, uh, hypnotizing people through sound waves and things like that. You know, that's why you could basically recite your favorite songs, you know, that's memorization, mimicking, you know. But anyway, getting to Harris, you know, I, I, I thought it was interesting, you know, because she, you know, she uh been very vocal, you know, just in the opposition you know, for against the Republicans, against Trump, or, you know, she even called Biden out on some things, you know. And I don't know. It was a safe pick, but was it the best pick? I don't know. But you know, yeah. tell, tell me what you think, because I got, it's a lot of stuff going, I, I had a lot of different debates today, you know. Mm. But you, you tell what you think. Uh, you know, I already talked about her. I said I wouldn't have went with her. <laughs> you already know that. <laughs> Yeah. I've said that a few times on the show that I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick her because I don't think she's gonna help him win. I think, I think she's gonna, I think she may hurt him because with, with what demographic? That's pretty much she's gonna probably, she's gonna split the black vote. I, I mean, it don't even matter with that shit because I mean we already know that the electoral. Is going to go. Is uh is what really count, but uh, how is she going to come off to them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do they want her? Because that's who's going to make the decision. The popular. Well, the, their, their, their peers, you know, the, the electoral peers. So, what's her relationship like with them? I mean, yeah. I guess we'll find out. I mean, but yeah, it, it's okay. Not only yeah. that, though, but not only, but not only that, though, like I said. If if and, and you're gonna have a lot of black women 
mm-hmm. they're already starting it. They're waving the flag and and they they hyping it. Right. That ain't I've out. definitely seen that. I mean, well, I saw that she coming. Along. We, but, we saw this coming. My thing is, well, I, exactly. So my thing is, what has she done? Like, you now you, you besides being a woman? No, but I mean, what has she done politically? Anything for black people? Oh, like for her, for oh her come people. on! She doesn't even. So that's what I'm saying. Like, why are we? Why are people acting like something great? Like, you know, oh, we just made history. Y'all, we made history. Oh, come on, man. Like, this well, Shirley, Chis- Chis- Shirley Chisholm no. ran for president, so I think that would be history. Because Shirley Chisholm. But what I'm saying is not even. You know that's not. You know that's not how they're looking at it. A lot right. of them motherfuckers don't even know who Shirley Chisholm is. Well, that's a shame. You know, don't, they don't even know who that shit is. So, Damn. I just feel. I, I just think that when it comes down to it, she rub a lot of people. She rub a lot of people the wrong way. Well, man, mm-hmm. so I don't know how that's going to play. And 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 what in, in those swing states with the electorals. You know what I'm saying? Well, the swing states being Middle America. We talking Ohio. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, not not just Middle America, but well, really like but Florida. They, they they're Florida, not winning Florida. Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pens- yeah Ohio, North Pennsylvania, Carolina Michigan. Always, North yeah. Carolina always turn out to be a come into play. play. Um, Wisconsin. Texas is going to be huge. West Texas is going to be his. Texas is going to be huge. Yeah, so I think like, California, I mean, California, and New York. We do we vote blue. For the most part, so I mean, I mean, so what I'm saying is that basically, like, she's, you know, you're gonna get that, you're gonna get, they, they, you know, you're gonna get all that support, you're gonna get all that support, you know. So basically, are you gonna get the support in Middle America? Do they like you? You know, like, you know, if you come talking, that's why, that's what I'm saying. You, everybody, champion right now, but. It, we haven't, heard, we haven't heard her agenda. We haven't heard. We haven't heard his agenda. We haven't heard right. anything. And that's and strategic. We, like it, we, we, that's we strategic. had a party. We ain't. We they ain't gave us nothing. They ain't told us nothing to basically say, you know, for to deserve this type of celebration that people is going and doing and posting and acting, you know, like like well, nothing let's, let's, on, let's, except on the table. Get, get, let's get Never yeah. Get, get, I, I see where you're going with this, you know, and I, I feel you, and I'm with you. Okay, so we we gonna ride, we gonna ride in the suburban right now. Ain't nobody in the back seat yet. We got room for you. So here, here's the deal, uh, black women. Okay, let me give you a little math lesson real quick. Okay, 2016 election, you know, 98 percent. Well, I think it's 96 percent. 96 percent of black women voted for Hillary Clinton. Okay, so now that was in you know to be in opposition of Trump, you know, and I get it. Now, the other side of it is black men, the black men who did vote, voted at uh, above ninety percent clip for Hillary Clinton. Now, when you add all of that up, when you say okay, oh, and I forgot this part, seventy uh, percent of the eligible black voters. Uh, they seventy percent of black voters they voted. I mean, it's men and women. Okay, now on a national average, the average was sixty-one percent of everybody that voted, right? But black people in particular voted at a seventy percent clip. So we we came out to the polls. We did our thing. You know what I mean? But that sixty percent, which was everybody else. That was enough to tip the election. So and when you do the numbers here, there are more Caucasians, there are people that call themselves Caucasians, more than anything else. So you could put all of the black women and black men together, and we could, you know, 90% in change is, is high, man, for any demographic. So you could put all that together, and we still lost the election. I say we, you know, the people who voted for uh, Clinton. You know, or that ticket, you, you know, still lost. So what does that tell you? That you need black women, you're going to need an alliance of convenience 
with white women because they're the ones that tipped the scales and voted for Trump in high numbers. They didn't care about his misogyny. They didn't care about, uh, you know, him being patriarchal. They didn't care about none of that. You know, they went out and they voted, you know, for him. As opposed to, I don't know why they didn't like Hillary. I mean, who cares? But the fact that Hillary won the popular vote but still lost the election tells you how the electoral process plays out. That's a math lesson, black ladies, black women. You're going to have to have white women help you. Now, you've been helping white women all along, you know, with all of the different movements and that you jump on board and they get all these federal grants because of the numbers. Now you need to get Trump out of office. I say you because you have been the most vocal, okay, about, you know, getting Trump out of office. You know, I'm not, that's not to say that black men haven't been vocal, but, you know, we, we are the enemy regardless. So no matter who's in office, we have a different layer of stuff that's coming at us. Now, granted, black women are the most oppressed. We know this, but you need white women to help you get Trump out of office. Can you do it? You already got black men. I don't want to hear that stuff about we don't support. Black men don't support black women because that's a bunch of bull. Like, we do support black women, you know, straight up. You know, so I've just been seeing a lot online. And, and, and oh, oh, I forgot this angle, too, the whole sorority angle. You know, because she's an AKA, I've been seeing a lot of allegiance, you know, for that, you know, I, I found that kind of strange, you know, so you're, you're going to ignore, I mean, I, I keep, and I heard this angle too, well, nobody's perfect. No, I don't expect her to be perfect, but I, what I do expect is fairness, and when I look at her prosecutorial record, it, it wasn't fair, you know, when she took over, um, you know, black people are, are five times, five to one. Uh, the, the, the disparity of being locked up compared to everybody else in California and and black men in particular, like just getting locked down, like, you know, cheese the prosecutor, you know, you or, or holding evidence, you know, against innocent men, you know, that could have been freed and you're doing your job, right? Wasn't People say, the, well, you do your job. Wasn't she, it's fucked up. Wasn't she the prosecutor? Wasn't she the prosecutor for the, the, uh, what's the, Oliver Grant was Oh, name? Oscar Grant the third. She she was Oscar on board Grant, when, yeah, when yeah. that happened. Yeah, Oscar Grant the third, you know, yeah, she was in that office and you know it's a lot she going on. You know, she was the pro I thought she said was she the prosecutor or was she on board? I believe she was on board. I don't think she was the head lead prosecutor. I've not I mean, as a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think she might have been in charge of that office, but you know how you don't do the cases. You know, you do assign those things. But the bottom line is California is a five to one ratio of disparity when it comes to black men in prison, and that's still to this day. Of uh, black people in prison. But in the you know, more particularly black men. And innocent. There have been a lot of innocent black men, you know, that are still in jail. You know what I mean? So I just was trying to make the connection between, all right, you want to forget about everything, about what her record has done in regards to black people because that's your sorority sister. I guess I tried to put it together and maybe I shouldn't have. You know, I don't know. But I have seen a lot of allegiance to that. But when I point out the fact that black women, you're going to need your, your Caucasian brethren to help you or to help us, that's what we're going to be waiting on. We saw what happened in 2016. So, I mean, we'll see. It's just a lot of, you know, hey, women, you got what you wanted. So I don't want to hear shit. Like I said, November 4th, 2020, when the results come through, I don't want to hear shit about we didn't vote. Because, you know, we're going, we coming out to vote. So, but I don't want to hear shit. Hmm. Oh, no, son. <laughs> I mean, I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people just going is is going to do what they all said. What they, I mean, what they plan to do is uh, they're voting for the lesser of two evils. That's basically what well, that's basically been the consent I've, I'm getting. Is that pretty much, you know, I'm going to vote for the lesser of two evils. I, I'd rather go with him because I don't want I don't want the guy that's there now. 
I rather this get right. deleted. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, those are the type of sentiments. And then when you have allegiance from other things, you know, the, the, the sororities and, you know, I mean, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be mm -hmm. a show. It's going to be a oh, TV show. Oh, it's definitely show. a show. Definitely it's going to be a, a TV show. show. You know, um, but I just, you know, I, I, I didn't, I don't, I don't feel confident in, in his ability to win with her. That's what. <laughs> well, okay, because I, I'm saying to myself, I said, okay, I, knowing politics the way that we do, like we are in a highly volatile situation, you know, in the country now. The past mm -hmm. four years have been crazy. You thought it was bad when Obama was in office. But it, it, it ramped up like about 15, 20 times worse than that. And so now if you're playing the politics of the land, you know, you're picking up, you're picking a black woman to be your VP. Like, I get it. You know, I thought he was going to go with Warren, you know, to be safe. You know, she, you know, you would have you got some Caucasian women to rock with Warren. You know what I mean? So I was just trying to figure out the, the political angle. Like, okay, you selected a, a black VP. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get it. But I just heard of a lot of different allegiances, you know, you know, HBCU, you know, I heard that one, a.k.a. she's, uh, shit, her father's Jamaican, her mother's uh, from India, you know, um, her, her husband is Caucasian. So, you know, she got a lot of demographics right there. I mean, but... I mean, yeah, yeah, I think, and I think, <laughs> and I think, I think all that was taken into consideration when making that pick because, right. you know what I'm saying, because of because of what her her background and you know things like that and the affiliation she has to certain things HBCU sorority husband is white and they need like I think he's a lawyer or something in the yeah. entertainment business or something like that. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, they probably got her demo for the '86 Tupac album that nobody else heard. <laughs> 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 you know, I you know, I had to dig up some shit. Like, oh, okay, found the demo. So uh, I mean, I mean, there's a whole lot. So I could see, like, I, I felt that he was leaning that way, or they was telling him to go that way, because I, I didn't think the other picks were. I didn't think they were strong neither. I, I, I mean, I didn't think he was going. I didn't think he was going to take Abrams. I just felt like mm -hmm. she was not going. He would eat. You know, she obviously probably was would be the best pick because of her intelligence and and what she's trying to do. Uh, but they scared her. They, they would be scared. They would definitely. They're scared of dark skin women. Yeah, scared of dark skin women. Strong dark skin. I'm gonna say. Woman. I'm gonna say not only that. I'm gonna say her, her personality is strong. And so she's she, she's she's with it. Strong. She's with the yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, and she's very very smart, like very intelligent, very articulate, very, I mean, just like... Very articulate, you know, no sharp. doubt. She's sharp, you know what I'm saying? And that kind she's of touching. person who's, is who, exactly, she's a thinker, and, I mean, she, she's too strong. She's, that's how they looked at her, like, oh, no, 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 no. You know, so that would... <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I mean, it's no disrespect to her. It's no it's disrespect. No disrespect like, this her. is a bitch what, bigging her up, for, for yeah, real. It, like, like, you know what I'm saying? It's no disrespect. It, it's, it's, they're scared. They're definitely scared of of who she is. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a definite. So I knew that. I didn't I didn't feel that it was sounded good, but it wasn't good. I knew it was, you know, it was some bullshit. They threw, because I felt like the party basically made her step down in the uh, governor's race or whatever. I got that feeling. And, you know. Well, she demanded like, a recount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then withdrew on the shit. Yeah, so, she had to. There was bad pressure. So that's what I'm saying. So it's like, um, so here, you know, oh, yo, we, you know, you know, 2020 come in, your name will be up in this circles and you know how that bullshit work. You know what I'm saying? The That's the, they you, feed right. you the bullshit, give you the bone, da da da. Your name is out there. You know you can capitalize. You know they help you make some bread off of that shit, but they they never really had no intentions of fucking with you. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They had mm -hmm. no real intentions of fucking with her because they already know that maybe somebody they can't control. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Right. I thought you feel about what I'm that. Saying? No so doubt. It's no be doubt. be somebody you can control. Now, the Susan Rice here, I, I didn't. I, I didn't think she was strong neither in, in there. I agree with you what you said on that point. Now, with you know her coming down like you you want to you supposed to be on this level and you you come on a presidential down to level. level. Yeah, like and you fucking with this this, this dude, the entertainer who get you know known for weed and all this shit. Da 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 da. Right. And you come down on that level, and you know, and threaten that, him with your army. Exactly, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean those type of statements that's like mm, you sound kind of trumpish you know what I'm saying <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah yeah that's like, I got that vibe like you know what I'm saying like, like, you sound kinda, wow. yeah, like, like, like you sound kind of you sound like you on that Trump shit so you know so it's like I you know you know I thought that uh, I think the other lady uh, I think she came she was she was she got hot late you know, they threw a name in the ring. I think I can't remember. Is she from West Carolina? I can't remember where she's from. The other, the other lady. There was another lady before but, they shut down the one from Minnesota. Cause they nah, shut nah, her. Nah. She was oh, cause they was trying to rock with her. They shut her down after all these damn yeah, yeah, riots. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they said you know. she, she she bowed out gracefully. She bowed out gracefully. Yeah. A lot oh, I know which one you're talking about. I, I just can't say. I'm talking about the. I'm talking no, about I'm the talking black the one lady. you're talking about. Yeah, the black lady. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I just. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Not the so, the, uh, the Atlanta mayor. The Atlanta mayor. They threw her name in there. Nah, yeah, her name was just thrown in there. But once the Atlanta shit popped off, she was she knew it was a rap. <laughs> yeah, rap like, it was a that, rap. Yeah, right? yeah, that shit was a rap. Like you bringing too much attention. Da da yada yada. You know, they let you eliminate yourself from the shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And pretty much that's what happened to her. I mean, I just think that that was the safe pick. She's a politician. They People know her as a senator. They know her from being in California as a district attorney. So, as you know, she has this solid pedigree behind her. I'm not saying like the other people. She definitely got the crime something. background. I mean, her and Biden, yeah, they, make a, so, good, they exactly. make a good crime ticket. They make a good so, crime ticket. You know, they do. So, so, so you know, police should be, you know, they they should be back. Police should be a static. static they should be a static right now. I mean, damn, yeah. yo, I guess this is our area, huh? I guess we we qualify to talk on this being, you know, criminal justice. Uh, so, <laughs> alumni, I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I just think that you know, I, I feel like you know that's what it was. It was in the bag. She knew it was in the bag. That's why she started. Diverse in her stock and Netflix and all that other type of shit. She already knew it was her. They were just playing it out in the media, hyping it. But you know, it ain't. It wasn't nothing. I feel I, I, it was. I wasn't surprised when that came out. I was like, mm, okay. Yeah. And I just I think Warren it. was like, strong, though, man. Warren, yeah, I think Elizabeth Warren, Warren was, strong. Was, was strong. She. She, they should have, you know, I don't but know if they again, gave her the interview, but she was a strong candidate. I think she got the interview, but I think also, again, uh, she's a, she's a different type of she's a different type of white woman. She's strong. She got a yeah. lot to say. She got a lot to yeah. say, no doubt. She got a lot to say, so they, she, she, they don't want she, she got some bread. You she might got be some bread. Wild, you might, yeah, so you might be a wild card. You might be a wild card. You know, at least uncontrollable. You know, Man, yeah, man. so it's like you know, she like I said, she's the person, she's, she's the ideal match. She's gonna play her role in the background, giving them sound advice because we don't know what his competency level is. You know, what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. By, Biden's a little off, you know. So no we doubt. don't know what his competency level. Like. You because you know he's shaggy. Like if you knew it is the election, this type of election, and you know, well, you got Corona, so he's scared to come out. I guess. I mean, he don't want to be in the streets doing interviews, or he doing. All, or, I mean, he can still doing video. I seen. I think I seen one recently with him on a video. Mm. But I'm like, you ain't. You don't hear him doing much talking. You hear a lot. He did a press conference oil. today, from my understanding. I heard that. They oh went yeah, today. in Delaware when they when they announced he announced it though. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. I but, mean, that's it. That's I'm his home about, state, you know. But I'm talking about like an in-depth interview. Like, let's hear what you talk oh, no about. Doubt. What's your game plan? Like, we want to hear that shit before before you start hooping and hollering. Hear the game plan. And see if Wait, did, did, did Biden plan. ever speak on reparations? Did he ever speak on reparations? So, uh, he, he, I don't not remember. Not really. Not I don't really. think so, right? Yeah. No, he's not. Most a, people tap dance on that. 
mostly yeah, they Cammy. Tapping. I think they Warren spoke up. Them. She spoke up. But forget That's Warren. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking Harris. Harris spoke on reparations. You know, like uh, I, I saw a video um, of an interview that she did. And, you know, basically, you know, I, I guess I respect her gangster on this part. You know, the person asked her, well, how do you feel about reparations? And she said, you know, specifically in regards to black people. And she said, you know, whatever we come up with is going to directly affect black people. But what do I look like making something specifically for black people? I'm not going to do that. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what she said. And I was like, damn. Yeah. You know, she's like, let's be clear. I'm not going to do something specifically for black people. You know, I'm like, wow. Like, I'm listening to it with an educated ear. And I'm going, okay, I know what she's saying. But the way that it, but she also told you the truth. Like, you can't do anything specifically for black people in that game. Like, you can't do it. And that's what, that flies over a lot of people's heads. So, yeah. it's like, well, what do you expect from her? Okay, she's a black woman. Um, what do you expect from her? I mean... I don't, you know, then here come the other angle. You know, I don't even like bringing this type of stuff up, but, you know, her, her, her great granddaddy, you know, did own slaves, you know, and damn, you know, one guy, you know, and I, I find it funny, you know, because right now with us trying to bring out all of the different facts and everything, you know, this Caucasian guy comes on my post and he he, he gives me the list of all of the names of the people that was owned by the by her great you know by her grandfather great uh, great grandfather or her grandfather and I said damn I said yo why are you giving me all these names you know what I'm saying like I was like yo I don't need to know everybody that 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 he was that they owned like I don't care about that like but it's out there you know what I mean like you know I guess and then I asked some I I, I know a lot of uh, Jamaican Jamaican I have a lot of Jamaican friends. I can say that. I have a lot of Jamaican friends. Okay, so, but I don't hear those allegiances like that. Like, shit, you Jamaican? And you like, I don't know. I ain't want to, I don't know about that one. Yeah, because we, it ain't about that shit. Like, to be honest with you, it really ain't about that. So, and I also heard the other part. Like, well, you know, her father's Jamaican and her mother is from India, you know, so, you know, she's black technically. Now, every Indian that I know, they don't fuck with black people. Okay, so, but I'm going to let that rock. You know, you want to say that, I'm going to keep it 100. They don't fuck with us. They don't consider themselves black. They don't. Even the great Muhammad Gandhi would tell you we were a lesser people. Shit, and he, he darker than me. But they'll tell you that. Now, okay. You know, her mom, and I, you know, they raised under that culture. You know, I, I get it. I don't know how much, I mean, the father was in her life, obviously. But, hey, he's Jamaican, you know, but at the same time, it's like, hey, you know, yeah, Jamaicans are black, no doubt. Excuse me. Well, Jamaicans are Jamaican, okay, and Indians are from India. I don't know what the fuck a black person is, you know, in terms of uh, nationality and, and, and the political structure and legally. So, you, you know, so I, you know, don't shout that. But, but hold on, HBCU, no doubt. Give props. AKA, go ahead, give props. I understand all of that. You know what I mean? I, I, I get it. Oh, you know, and she, you know, she, she married a Caucasian, you know, they have children. And, you know, that's a whole nother layer. You know, that was a whole nother topic on another show that, we we dove into, but only on the four foot level. We was in the four foot part of the pool. We we still had our feet, you know, mm. <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> we didn't go on the deep end on that one because it gets very um it's, it becomes a rabbit hole. It becomes very difficult because I, I had a few conversations, you know, with just regular people in the neighborhood, and you know, a guy told me straight up. He was like, "Yo, marry." Caucasian, if a black woman marry a Caucasian man, she's committing willful genocide. I was like, damn, Abdul, you know, yeah, like, that, that was kind of strong, bro. He was like, nah, I'm saying, you know, I'm not trying to say that it, it, subconsciously. He like, he broke it down. I was like, oh, okay. I said, genocide is a little strong, though. But if we're going to be doing extremes, I guess so, you know, but I guess over the course of maybe three generations, you know, you have a white, you have a Caucasian man as a father, uh, 
they're going to be whitened down eventually. It's the same reason they don't want black men sleeping with, you know, having babies by white women because eventually, you know, we our gene is just going to come through. And then three generations down the line, you know, you're going to have a black man, <laughs> you know, or a black, a black woman. Like, that's just what it is. Like, so it's not to say that the woman is not the dominant gene. It's just that, you, you know, when you, when you marry the Caucasian man, you keeping them alive. I mean, and he broke it down. I was like, all right, you know, I'm not here to dispute or debate what you're saying. I'm just trying to hear him with an open mind. And I said, damn, you know, I didn't want to keep it to myself. So, you know, I posted it or whatever. You know, I mean, I'm, it's not a secret for me that, you know, anybody that knows me, like, yeah, I, I don't advise that, but, you know, to each their own. You know, it's a tough choice. You know, would I do it? No, I've never done it, but, you know, that's me. You know, and some people will tell you it don't matter. You know, you just sleep with a person. That don't matter. Okay, that's cool. You know what I mean? But when you start talking about all of the different things that are playing into into society now, and now you got you got the perfect crime ticket. You got the architect of the three strikes law, and you got a tough-ass prosecutor who don't take no mess, right? You know, mm. raised under Indian culture, who don't fuck with black people. She married a white man. Um, California five to one ratio, uh, black people being in prison in, in comparison to all the other demographics, and you have your ticket, you have a crime ticket, you know, for you know without all, all that other stuff, it's deep, bro. And you know, I, I I know some other women that it was like, ah, she wasn't the best choice. I get it. Like, there there are some women who are divided on this. Yeah, I mean, that's what, I'm saying. that's what I'm trying to. That's what I said. That's what I was saying in the beginning. Like, people are going to be divided on her. That's why I didn't think she was a, was a good pick because they're going to be divided on her. Uh, based not on, divided know, enough to vote for pick. Trump, though, right? <laughs> the black vote ain't going to go down, that. right? I don't know, son. I've seen a lot of people. Who, yeah, I mean, we you know, was at ninety-seven, ninety-eight percent lot, with Clinton. I seen a lot. Of, I seen a lot of black people today online. Saying they would have a vote for Trump. Especially, they, they for, all the, vote especially, for Trump? especially for all the business motherfuckers. People who got business. Oh, the business guys, and, I know. They do. The businessmen, yeah, they, they, they like, vote in fuck Trump. That. Like, that's, that's facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they like, so you got, that's what I'm trying to say. Is, it's like, it's going to be divided. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be divided. And that's that leans into Trump's hands. You know? Like she gotta be, she gotta be a super strong candidate. You know what I'm saying? She gotta be a super strong candidate. You know, and, and well, I guess we'll find how, out what the agenda can, is. That's what I'm saying. It all depends because if she's out there talking, if she gets out there and mention anything BLM, she done. She got to say anything. Well, she did, well, she mentioned that today, and the, um, they mentioned Black Lives Matter. You know, in the press what conference she said. today. Uh, I can't quote what she said. Uh, I can't quote what she said. I mean, but I mean, I think they believe that they did mention it. You know. Um, I I I mean, come on, I'm gonna have to watch it. I gotta watch it. How she said it and see and look at the expression on her face to actually see uh, and see exactly how what how she said it and what context it was said in. You understand what I'm saying? Is what he's saying. Let me give a you phrase. a gem, though. Hold on. Wait, was she saying it as a phrase, or was she saying it as she supporting the organization? No, I don't. You know, I think nobody's going to come out and support the organization outright per okay. se. You know, not That's like that. So I think it was so more about the, the black people. So she's saying it as a slogan. Not the as slogan, a slogan, like as, yeah, yeah, like like everybody when they knelt with the kente cloth. You know, when they went yeah. and voted and, and knelt down. You know, oh, but check check out this this gem though. Um, I think on the, because I have to pull up the article, I was reading online that um, one of the members that's going to be part of her her staff is actually uh, a member of the LGBTQ community. So, I mean, she could have came out and, and mentioned black lives. Let's see. Uh, political powerhouse announced as Kamala Harris, Harris's chief of staff. Yeah, let me find, let me see her name real quick. I didn't I didn't you know I didn't want to quote the article straight verbatim, but let me see what is her name. 
It's going to hit me right now. Uh, campaign of, Senior campaign advisor, Corinne Jean-Pierre. And, you know, in the article, you know, they, they made sure to mention that she was a, me- a member of the LGBT community. So if you know anything about Black Lives Matter, you know that it was founded by, you know, three LGBTQ members. So, you know, she could have came out and expressed support for Black Lives Matter in that matter because her chief of staff is that, is in, you know, in, you know, in that movement. So, I mean, you, you never know. I mean, and, and, and what difference does it make? I mean, it's not like, you know, they're not in no, uh, political was, power. But that's what I'm Obama saying. Obama put them there. But what I'm saying to you is this, like, she got demolished in running for president. She demolished. Did. Like <laughs> once her once once they hopped on her 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 uh her record as a prosecutor and her, and all the, and all what was going on. She was done. It's going to be turned up even. Who the one that time. came at her? Was it the Minnesota one? Wasn't that the one from Minnesota that was coming at her neck? It was, it was her that was coming at her her, her record, oh, right? Yeah, 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 I yeah. yeah. Her. No, yeah, no, she, her? no, 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 no. She's not from Minnesota. She was the one that was in the military. I think she was from Hawaii. Right. She's from Hawaii, I think. I oh, think right, I, right. The Hawaii, right. Something True like that. True indeed. Something, something yeah. like that. Yeah, she was in the military, and she came for her. So, uh, I'm, but that's what I'm saying. It's like she got a blue. Like people who straight didn't want to mess with her after all that information came out. So now you're gonna tell me that all that's forgiven because he picked her. I don't think. Well, so. I, I mean, think, it's, I don't it's, see it's that. Vote. I don't see that smoothing over because they're already nicknaming her Kamala the cop, Jim Crow Joe, <laughs> and Kamala the cop. What? Well, yo, that's so, a great name, actually. I would yeah. run with that. I would run with that. So yeah, that means because that's that's what they are. So basically, Jim Crow Joe, wow. And Kamala Damn. the cop. Kamala the cop. Jim Crow so, Joe. Shit. So that's what I'm saying. So it's, I mean, how that's not that's going to turn a lot of people off. And that falls all into the favor. That falls all to the hands of Trump. Like yo, all he so could it swing the other way? Could it swing the other way? Like all right, so a a, a racist, okay, all right. If you're a true racist, you don't want. I mean, you you couldn't vote for Biden because he has a black woman, right? As as the VP uh, running mate. Okay, so that's a true racist. But somebody who is also a racist could. Because of the platform of which they ascended from, the crime bill, the three strikes law architect, and her strong uh, prosecutorial uh, experience with locking up black people at a high rate, they mm. could also endorse her. They might be in the middle ground right here. Like, well, lock them all up. If that's what y'all going to do, then fine. Because, you know, because Trump fucked us all up. Like, they're, they're, Caucasians are mad at Trump right now. So he need to drop that second oh, they, stimulus they, they, check. They, they mad. mad. They, they mad. Exactly. Right now. They, they mad over. They definitely mad over this Corona shit. They oh, definitely, definitely mad over the money shit. Mm-hmm. Jobs being shut down. People out of work. Haven't been back to work. They definitely tight on that shit. That's what's hurting them right. That's what's hurting him right now. Right. So he. That's why he's trying to do everything to drop this bread. But they holding up the bread by fighting. Because they don't want to give it. They, they want, you know what I'm saying? They want him to look bad. But meanwhile, the Republicans are like, well, we, we want to give you out of bread. They don't want to give you out of bread. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Democrats so, don't want to give you the bread. That's what they put it exactly, out there. Exactly. It's not us. You know what I'm saying? So they talking about they fighting over, well, it should be like six or 800 more on the unemployment. And it should be to like the end of the year or longer, a year. At least I think they want it to be like a year longer. It's still, you know what I'm saying, but a year, yeah, a year, a year extension, yeah, something wow. like that. I believe. I okay. believe that's what they they haggling over shit like that. So and and and, and eight hundred dollars instead of six. So they trying to wow. raise that bread because they want they you know it's, okay. And listen, listen, you know what's coming. <laughs> them holidays is coming, motherfucker. Oh, like man. them holidays you're right. is coming. You're right. They come. Them fucking holidays is coming. And if people ain't got no money for Thanksgiving and Christmas, shit gonna oh, be. Oh shit fucking now. 
crazy. That's shit true. Gonna be That's shit right crazy. after the election too. Right after exactly. the election. No doubt. Shit gonna be shit crazy. You hear me? So it's gonna be all kind of shit. So they better have. They got. If they don't believe them, one of these people. People are still out here, and they ain't getting. No money is flowing. Nothing is coming. Oh, it's gonna be trouble. And that's what. And that's why. That's why he's taking out executive orders. He's doing all kind of shit. He can't. You know, he definitely can't do the shit he wanted. He wish he could take out executive order and just be like, fuck all of y'all. We're going to give the people 2000 Well, he tried. I mean, because he, he tried, he just, but he, he can't. Out, he can't. He, he just did. took one out. Talking about he's going to cut payroll tax, you know, but, but, he's but give you if you know anything, and yeah, give you 400 but if you cut payroll tax, you, you basically defund in Social Security, you fool. <laughs> like, you defunded Social Security to, you know, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I get it, but you can't do it that way. Sure. But I feel them on, I fucking fuck y'all, I'm going to sign this executive order. They, our people need the money. Okay, I get it. Because he know he got to get some bread in their hands. He know that's the he only thing. <laughs> he do. He, he know that. He know, he know. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> If he if, if he if he's able to get twelve hundred, it's going to be a close race. If he oh, if they most give definitely. It, if they give if he's able to do what he want and give two thousand, he went. I, I, I was he went, I was telling he went people in a that. landslide. He went in a landslide. I, I told people if he it, put two hundred. He put two thousand dollars in people's hands, and he and, and talking about he extending unemployment and all that shit. He would and, extend unemployment. And, and you and, and he, you have six thousand per back, household, and he pushed back and he pushed them back your loan payments. Talking about, uh, you know, still don't make no payments on no shits. Yeah, yeah. What? If he, if he do that, it's gonna be it's gonna be real close. Yeah, this, I can tell you that. It's gonna be. It's gonna, gonna be. It's gonna be a. Listen, they got. Like, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> her body got to come out with something that's that's like dazzling. They shit better be Chris on point. Like Maybe they I have no with doubt. Reparations, reparations. I have no, like. I have no doubt in my mind she's gonna obliterate Pence. He can't fuck with her at all. He knows. Oh that. no, yeah, that's not even a fair. He know he's not even her. He know he's not even her league. He's gonna try, but she's gonna she's gonna smash him in a debate. Yeah, that's that's, you know, that's he, gonna be ugly. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna have to do dirty shit, pull out shit. But he is gonna. He's he he gonna have to. Because anything he pull out, she's going to have something more for him, and, and, and it's going to be ridiculous. That's gonna, yeah, because his backyard shit, is horrible. Pence, Pence is all Because the fun. shit he goes, the shit, but now when Biden and Trump go at it, that's going to be Comedy Central time. Because Trump, Trump gonna will be, kill Trump Biden. Is, he will, oh, Trump, Trump, is, Trump is, is, is not a bad debater. He's not. Trump Trump going to be on that bullshit. Yeah, Trump gonna you know. Trump going to be on that bullshit. He's going to turn up. I'm doing a job. You, he, you was, you was turn, second in command. He, he 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 exactly. You know the type of shit he's gonna say. I already know. You know the type of shit he's gonna say. I'm a and you know you know. can't put it past him to say some shit like, "Do we even know he got all his faculties?" <laughs> you know he the type. Yeah, of word, word. <laughs> like Joe, you, you know that know, shit. You better not stutter while he up there. I'm you, talking you about Trump. Know. You know, mimicking you know Biden. You know exactly. I, that's gonna be Boy, ugly that's because that's you know be ugly. Trump don't that's give a be shit. Ugly. And Biden, so, you know, he's going to be... And you know yeah. his core fans love the ignorant yeah. shit. They love the ignorant shit. They do. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know they love that ignorant shit. <laughs> How did he do? You know that shit. You, <laughs> you know, know they love that shit. You know they love I that ignorant shit. That shit gets them today. hype. I had to remove the comments, you know, like slide the video to the side just so I could see what the hell they was talking about, him uh-huh. and Pence. Cause they they uh-huh. were talking about, yeah, we really trying to get the kids to go back to school. So all these comments was popping up in the uh, Facebook live feed. And they was like, yeah, Trump, Pence, yeah, 2020, we love you. And I was like, what the fuck? I, you know, so I took all the comments off so I could just hear what they were saying. And I said, y'all ain't saying shit. Y'all still trying to send people back without no plan. I say y'all better get off the education. Yeah, yeah, get off the education platform altogether. Like, that's gonna kill don't you talk too. About that. You gonna, yeah, don't even you talk make, about that. You definitely know you're losing the teachers' vote. You know that shit. They unions. There's they, no they way in hell that they because you try to open up the you 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 basically try to debo governors 
into opening up too soon. Like, that's basically what you did. And the corona shit is still running crazy. Uh, Five million infected. You know, five million. You know, I mean, not that many fatalities anymore, but still, five million affected. And then every time, you know, there's a, a new district, you know, going back to school, mad people is infected. This, you know, so it's yeah, like, yo, of people, come listen, on. What we said before, what I told you before, people have been away from people for months, for <laughs> months. Wow. So as soon as they all get in that same spot together. Nobody knows where that other person's been, who they've been around. All of a sudden, people start getting sick. Why? Because those germs are not, you're not used to seeing, your body's not used to being around those germs because you've been isolated for months in your house, right. maybe only with your family, maybe only around, you know, just family members. But you haven't been around the world. You haven't been back in, in around people just on the streets and all that all day, every day, like how it is. It used to be, be you know what I mean? So yep. now everybody's coming back around each other. Of course you're going to get spikes. But these idiots don't live. Oh, they did it too early. No, fool, you, we've all been away from each other. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We've all been away from our, our, our immune systems. Feeds off the germs. We got That's what they know what to fight off. And we haven't been around each other. To even do for that shit didn't happen. That's a that's natural process, baby. Come Word. on, man. So at the same time, this is why you're gonna see those type of spikes. You're gonna hear that type of shit at schools because teachers don't want to be back. They don't want to. They're not trying to go in the building. First of all, if you're a teacher, the mother. First of all, they don't get paid like they should. So they're not anxious to be running, putting their life on the line, and you don't have a plan for them. You're talking and about putting up you? glass shields in front of the teacher's desk. So what about the kids? They got to wear masks or they got to they wear the face mask or whatever it is and all, all that type shit all day. And then you're going to have the, only, the, only the teachers is going to swap rooms or I don't know, whatever. The shit ain't going to work like that. Yeah, because they're schools, trying to keep the a lot kids of schools, and cohorts. But a lot of the, like, the schools don't have the funding to do that type of shit. They don't have the fun right. in the space kids out. They don't have the space to do that shit. They don't have that. That's fact. So it's, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not even something that you can say, oh, you know, this is what, because you don't really have a plan. You don't know what's going on. So the safest thing to do is to continue doing what you're doing. Like, it don't matter. Continue doing what you're doing. Kids learning from home. Whatever. Do that. Figure out that's the safest this, way right now. That's the safest thing you can do for, at least the, for the children. Like, look. You know, you're trying to use them as guinea pigs to put them out there to see what's going to happen. Yeah, I don't and like then, that at all. And then after that, then it's like, oh, pull it back, pull it back. No, 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 no that's, don't, you know what I mean? You, you got to be, you got to introduce us, you got to introduce people back into this, into society slowly again. So everybody hasn't been around each other in a long time. People haven't been around people. It's been months. People are just starting to get back around people. And you know, as you may go out, you may be around. If you ain't been out that whole time or been taking care of yourself during this whole time and all that shit, you're going, you know what I'm saying? Your mm -hmm. immune system is, is, is definitely, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you ain't been building up your shit. Your shit if you ain't been building league. it up, you use a rap. You, you're a rap. I mean, think yeah, about when we was young, we played in the dirt. You played in dirt so your body could know how to fight off germs. And we, nobody's exactly. doing that. Like, we, there, there's nobody around people each in the other. Crib. You know, it's something people big in is going house on, all man. Day. It's got to be something people big is going their, on than this corona shit. Come on, son. It's money, there's something bigger is going a, on, man. They, they out here proving every, every damn, every major company, pharmaceutical company, has a contract with the government. they giving out yeah, anything. Take our drugs. Talking about shit, take shit, talking about shit going to be ready before the end of the year. How you. Have something ready before the end of the year that they're still going on. <laughs> maybe so. Maybe, maybe this is already in prep. The only way you could do that because it takes do that like is if you already exactly, exactly. You, you already had it in motion. You already, you already had it in motion because you knew it was coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, that Obama like, said it, it was coming five years ago. He said that. He said it five years ago. So. It was it was coming. Maybe they had it in motion already. Like that's the only way that they could come out and announce something like that. Yeah, we got we got it'll be ready by the end of the year. Okay, then that would fall within the five year timeline of when Obama said, oh, Yeah, we have a 
you know, pandemic, you know, possible pan we're preparing for it. Like, but then dumbass Trump disbands, you know, that whole shit that could have really prevented it. You know, it's, and it's crazy. People, so many people lost their jobs. Yeah, you know, people are so really they, displaced. Displaced, son. You, people done lost everything. People didn't have family business that they lost because they was closed for months. Word. No income. That was their income. Like people, you know what I'm saying? It, it's been, it's it's been it's been horrific. Like, just, you know what I mean? And we going on six months what, now. And that's what people. And, and they only gave you twelve hundred dollars. They gave twelve hundred dollars five months ago. It's one. Now I, I yeah I'm frugal, but I think what is that three hundred dollars a month? <laughs> Two fifty a month? I, I don't. What's that a day? Yeah, this ain't the What's night. That a day? Oh, two fifty a day? month. What is that a day? That's less than um, <laughs> that's less than ten dollars a day, man. I mean, it's real shit. Like three, it's thirty days in a month. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Like, come on, thirty times what? Thirty times six, one hundred and eighty. Thirty times two ten. Thirty times eight is two forty. So it, basically, eight dollars a day. These people have been living off of, you know, cause for twelve hundred dollars. Well, it's twelve hundred plus. Every adult in the household. So, excuse me, twelve hundred for the adults, and then you got five hundred for the kids. So, if you got two kids and two adults, then y'all got uh, twenty-four. You got thirty-four hundred dollars. You know, mm. basically. Mm. So, thirty-four hundred dollars over five months. That's about six hundred a month, basically. Less than seven. Oh, no, excuse me, it's, it's seven hundred a month. So, seven hundred a month. Yeah. So divided by thirty, you're talking about two fifty, you know, two hundred and fifty. Um, you know, that's crazy. So what was that twenty five dollars a day? <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that's 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 that's, 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 that's bad, horrible. man. Like, that's and then you fighting over whether whether to give us more money, and then other countries is out here already paying for the end of the year. To the end of the year, paying their people's bills and everything, and uh, and on top of it, you know there are countries with free health care, so they already have free health care, and they want them to stay home, level out the disease, and you're going to be paying you basically, you know, stay home. We know you need to sustain. You know, they giving three G's a month. Yo, no, three crazy. G's a month is good. You know, when you home, when you just got to buy food and shit like that. And then you know you still got that 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 cushion of of you have you pay you could pay all your bills and still have money left and you're like okay you straight I mean I I don't get it I don't see how the the wealthiest country in the world quote unquote you know they can't do the same thing it, it, it's unreal so the the election is going to be very close I mean. Just with all of those parameters in place. But I, um, somebody asked me online. I don't they wasn't asking me per se, but they was asking everybody on the thread, you know, what demographic does Harris uh, hit? You know, how is that going to help him? And, I, you know, I, I didn't know, you know. I don't know how many AKAs there are in the world. I mean, in the United States. So, I mean, shit. I keep saying the same thing. If you don't get Caucasian women on board... The same thing is going to happen in 2016. Like, black women voted, you know. They was, like I said, 90, 95, 96%. I think it was 98, actually, you know, for Clinton. So, shit, they can't do no more. So, they going to need somebody. It ain't us, because we was damn sure was voting. So, I don't know, bro. But I do know some people that they own businesses. They, they rocking with Trump just from the business angle. Yeah, from so I don't want I don't want people to get it confused that they, they didn't they're not the reason that you that that the ticket is not going to win like you need white women to join the black women in order to push a Biden Harris ticket through if you don't have that yeah. then it's going to be the same thing as 2016 but they need a scapegoat so now, it's if, not going to be black men <laughs> it's not going to be us we're not the scapegoat you already you know systemically we already got kicked out the crib. In the 1970s, so you could get that, you know, get them checks and shit, you know, fucked up the family structure. You already did that systemically, not individual. I'm not knocking anybody individually 
took the checks in the 70s and, you know, led to not having the man in the house, yo, the work is coming, you can't be here, you're not supposed to live here, but y'all getting that money. But then, you know, when shit ain't going right, you threatening to kick a person out because you technically, you don't live there, you're not supposed to be there because you're getting these checks. So a lot of, you know, it's a lot of, uh, you got to look at, start looking at things for what they are. You know, they've been using black women for a long time and, yo, black, black women, it's time. Yo, stand strong. Like, but you need, you need white women though. They need they 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 put you in their movements all the time. Get grow their numbers. Now you need them. Can you lean on them? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a watch from the sidelines. I'll do my part. I'll go vote. You know, I always go vote. But are they gonna help? Are they gonna help us get Trump out of office? I don't know. I mean, I'm talking about if you know if you want Trump out of office. Cause me personally, I don't give a shit who is in office because. They don't affect my day-to-day -day life. Now, on a local level, the congressmen and the senators and assemblymen, yeah, like them people, yeah, they affect my day-to-day -day life. So at the minimum, even if I didn't want to vote for the president, I still had to go and vote for those Senate and, and Congress seats. So, I mean, I think, you know, that's important. You know, I put that out there. And it's not that I want to have another four years with, you know, Donald Trump. I mean, because he's, <laughs> he's, he's the worst. But... You know, he's on his dictatorship. But at the same time, you know, we done lived it, man. I mean, we, we, we lived through uh, Reagan, Reagan and Bush. That was a hard 12 years. I don't give a fuck with nobody saying. I was young. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was in college. Like, you're B, all right, B 1920, and you think this is bad. Shit. B 1920 and during the crack era. Like anybody that's still alive that didn't get thrown in jail, you know, via the Biden laws, or you know, you got caught with a bag of weed and did 15 years and type shit because of the drug laws, Rockefeller laws, you know, you you understand my pain, you know, anybody whose family was affected by the three strikes law, you understand the pain. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's tough. I mean, so. I, I'm indifferent. I know some guys, they're indifferent, like, okay, cool. But you see how this works? You know, because remember, we talked about this the other day. There was a petition that was signed, you know, Diddy and Chris Paul and a whole bunch of other people, you know, you better pick a black woman or we going to withhold our vote and this and that. I mean, if you withhold your vote, then you automatically put in Trump in office. So you don't really have no leverage. But they appease us. You know, that's what they do. You know, we're going to paint Black Lives Matter on the street, shit like that. We ain't changing no laws right now. You know, we still got to vote, this, you know, to uh, for those acts for the Black Voting Rights, you know, Act for, from 1965. You know, we still got to vote on that. Oh, and, and Biden let you know, like, well, I voted so you could be able to still vote. You know, like, well, thank you, Master Biden. I appreciate it, you know. <laughs> now you got Overseer Kamala, you know, to keep all the ladies in line, and, you know, and they could do their ski ski. Oh, wait, I got the wrong sorority, right? AKA, I don't go, they don't do ski ski. I forgot what the fuck. I'm sorry. It's one of them. I know that you got all type of allegiances, but, you know, it's split up all over the place. So I didn't know what demographic she touched. So I, I, I let that question rock. Like, you know, I can't answer that, you know. You know, I'm just... I'm just glad that they they uh, sticking it to Kanye with his bullshit, talking about oh he was only out here to take votes from Biden, and you know I I I, I heard that he um he got like two thousand uh, fraudulent signatures on his petition, like that's fucking election fraud. What the fuck is he doing? Like he's bugging, like like this is what I'm saying. Like you you know what you know what bothers me? All right, here's the real problem. Okay, you got people running for office that should not be running. Now, granted, you got Trump in there. He wasn't taking that shit serious. But as he kept running around the country and rallying up people and saying all all this type of dumb shit, he started gaining momentum. He was like, oh, shit, I could actually win this thing. And he did. And then all that bullshit that was coming out, you know, about Hillary, and she got a history, too, now. The Clintons ain't immune from all of the shit that's been going on, you know, over the past 25, 30 years. So he rode the ill wave, and, I, I mean, shit, he still lost the popular vote, but they wasn't ready to have a, a woman in office. So 
you know, to have a woman in the second seat from the presidential office, well, actually, the vice president is not. If the pres- something happens to the president, the vice president doesn't automatically get uh, moved into that position. I think a lot of people don't understand civics and, and, and you know, and the law. That's what we really got to get our shit together in regards to that. But symbolically, it paints a great picture. You know, yeah, you can run for, you know, you can run for VP. Look, notice I didn't get into her personal life or how she ascended, you know, to the level that she got to, right? So I, I'm I'm playing above above waist right now. I'm keeping it clean because as somebody told me, nobody's perfect. Yeah, I understand that. No, nobody's perfect, but there are people that, you know, they they do the grimy thing. They they sleep their way to the top. You know what I'm saying? You know, so that's not, we can't look past a lot of shit. You know, I don't I don't know, man. I'm not the judge here. You know, I'm just laying out facts. You know, for people to see for themselves. And you know, nobody can't tell me I don't support black people. You know, I'm just laying it out there. Like if you're gonna put somebody up out and up up front, shit, make them. Yeah, man, you know what? Maybe he was spoiled by Obama. He was clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't really find, you know, find too much about him. What's the worst that they try to do for him? They say that his minister that he went to their church, you know, he was uh, anti-Semitic or whatever. You know, yeah, they go that they, word they, again. Well, they, basically <laughs> said, they basically said he wasn't a citizen this whole term. Yeah, yeah, well, look who led that Trump. I mean, Trump exactly. led that whole shit. Talking so, about he's not exactly. a citizen. Like, you sound like a damn fool. But, you know... He did let you know that, you know, I am Kenyan, okay? I am Kenyan-American. What is, where is Kenya? That is a country. Mm. And where is America? America is another country. So he, he ran as a nationality candidate. He wasn't a black candidate. He tell you that. They have no standing in law. Black has no standing in law. President Obama actually said that, okay? He is a Kenyan-American. Okay. Besides an attorney. <laughs> oh, besides being an attorney, of course. We got to get it right. And, you know, people, you know, they, they, they quite, I get a lot of questions about that. Well, why, why you keep pressing nationality? Because motherfuckers know where they come from. Everybody that come and enter this country know where they coming from. They, they, they roots are somewhere. You know, now, now you got other people just coming out. Like, they just, if you're not going to be, a, you got to be a, at least American. Yo, stop with the black shit. Yo, you're American. Fuck it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, at Just the minimum, be that. Just be a fucking American. You're American. You're born here. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, fuck it. Yo, my man, you, your roots, you got them in Jamaica, right? At least you know you're fucking, you're Jamaican. I know Haitians. I know Senegalese. I know uh, Bar- uh, Bar- people from Barbados, Trinidad. Like, these are all fucking countries. You know what I mean? Even Mexico, like, you know, Honduras, you know, South America, all the countries of South America, they're from somewhere. That's what the nationality is. So, and when you have that, what do you have? Uh, you have an embassy <laughs> sometime. You have a representation, United Nations-wise. You have delegations who speak on your behalf. All of that shit matters on the legal end. So when they start putting shit together... And they go, well, yeah, yeah, you know, well, we write into it for minorities. Yeah, the people that come here from other places. You know, oh, blacks, yeah, yeah, it'll trickle down to you. We can't, they can't write anything for black people because black doesn't have a location. I mean, yeah. shit, Dr. John Henry Clark told you that, like, plain English. Man, like, stop is. it. Well, they're going to learn today, bro. Like, the people that listen to us and our Democrats, they know who that is. It's time to stop with, yo, the, the entertainment and the media and all that shit. That shit got shut down because of coronavirus, right? That's what they told us. So at the minimum, what that shit did for us is get our brains right. Yo, start reading, start educating yourself. You know, get familiar with the technology because you're going to be home. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're going to be learning online. Yo, read, get your mind right. And then, you know, people were still uh, protesting. I want to go back to work. Where's my job? You know, running up on state courthouses, you know, with guns out and shit. Like, it was getting real crazy out here. And now, where are the protesters at? Where are the protesters at? They're not showing. 
They're they not showing it. Chicago, but they not this showing is what it. I'm saying. Oh, I'm talking about the organized ones. I'm talking about the ones that was on the news, the ones that they was afraid yeah, of. Black you know, Lives show, Matter. Yeah, that was Showtime. They ain't showing you that, that real time. shit that's popping. That was Showtime. Oh, no, nah, they can't show you that. Well, that was, they can't that show was, you that. Was the ones when they, that was the ones for TV. That was Showtime. They had the actors out there that they paid and all that shit, you know, tearing shit up. Looking yeah, at making 15 it look an like, hour. Yeah, you know. So yeah, no now, now they out there still doing that shit in places like Seattle and Chicago and all these places. Portland, they ain't showing that shit. Portland, that's what it is. Portland, they ain't showing that shit. They ain't showing that shit, and they ain't showing that shit. That shit going on in places that they not showing that shit. You know, it's news shutdown. People gotta. People is on. You you seeing it because. Other people is posting that shit, and other people is sharing it on their timelines, or no doubt that people in, in other countries is, and all that shit. Like, oh, they, they wilding not, in other countries. They like, wilding. They not, they not showing you all these places getting blown up. Like everywhere has been having an explosion. I just seen one, some explosion in Russia. You ain't seen that. Oh, shit the Russian ones. Yeah, that shit's scary, man. That, that shit was crazy. <laughs> that shit was scary. Man. <laughs> that Beirut shit was crazy. <laughs> the Beirut shit was crazy. They told us. It was a fire fireworks house. Fuck really? Here, Come on, on, man. That's some shit that they say in the Jason Bourne movie or some shit, man. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> like, who, like, you, you really think we that no, stupid? Sure. Like, you just tell us Yo. anything. A firework, a fireworks warehouse exploded today in, in, in Lebanon. Like, what? Are you fucking that serious? Shit did, that shit looked just totally different. That shit looked nuclear. Yeah, that, that shit, shit looked look crazy. crazy. It did yeah, major shit, damage that, too. Yeah, that shit so did, I would yeah. I would say you know be shit. careful out here. Do the knowledge for real. You know, yo, you, we are, we all a part of the system. So it's hard. You can't go off the grid. Like you, well, there are some people that are off the grid, but they have the necessities to actually do that. So if you're not off the grid, you got to be smart out here. You got to. You gotta play the game, you know. It's a chessboard for real, and you know, on the master chessboard, you know, the people are pawns, man. Yeah. They just telling us anything, you know, just anything. anything, you know, because that's just how it is. So you gotta be careful. It's, you know, nothing is immediate. Like the shit that's oh. happening today is from fifteen, twenty years ago in the works. Like they've been planning shit. You know, like, you gotta feel the pulse of the people. You know, let's you know whether it's an operation. Sometimes they just do test runs just to see how far people are gonna go. I'm still seeing motherfuckers with masks on in their car. Stop! Stop it! You in your car alone? Take your mask off, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, did you? Oh, I, and one more thing. I'm sorry, but the. We we was on we you posted the article about the uh, the chief of police in in Seattle I believe it was she no, stepped down oh you didn't post it okay article. well no, I yeah I mean she stepped down because uh or it said in the article you know you never could tell with the fucking media you know mainstream media you know she stepped down because her department was defunded. You know, when I looked at the numbers, it went from $409 million budget to a $406 million budget, and she was going to have to lay off 100, 100 people. Now, granted, in these budgets, you know they have recruitment, so they're still going to be hiring officers. So if you got to lay off people, but you're going to be hiring people right behind them, and you lost $3 million, you still got $406 million. In Seattle, if they got four hundred and six million in Seattle, what the hell does New York have? Scary, right? Because we got the most police here, thirty-five thousand and change. So that's illmatic. So I don't know. Maybe they forced her out. I mean, who knows? I mean, you know, because some shit did pop off in Seattle. You know, don't get me wrong. Yeah, you, you know, know I mean? you know that's how they, they that's how they writing it up, but. You know the politics behind the shit. That shit didn't look good. You in charge. You know your head's got to roll. So your head got to roll. 
basically. Yeah, that's I what mean, it was, you man. know, you can blame it on you can you can you can you can act like you're going out on your sword, just like the one in Atlanta did. Like I'm leaving. It, 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 it was because shit. Yeah, oh, I forgot man. about her. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's listen. It's politics, man. It's all about that dirty game of politics. So. You know, we'll we'll the story may come out one day, story may not. It's gonna be a whole lot of stories after twenty twenty. That's gonna Yeah, after itself. the election is over, you're gonna get the real shit. Real shit you know, like know, what man. really was going on. Um but, I, it's 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 uh, scary out here. It's, it's, it's scary. Done, it's done. Um I don't know nobody ain't really talking about the uh the march on the C N N building in Los Angeles where they was talking about save the children. You know, from because of the pedophile rings, you know, nobody is really touching on that. Like, kids, you know, like there's there's a there's a group of people that's out here. They don't, you know, they ain't talking, of, not they ain't talking talk about that. Save the children. Money behind that. It's money behind that, though. Well, money. That's yeah, a whole nother, That's a whole another topic, though. We, the whole beast. We have to touch that. We we touch on that at another time for the people, man. That's going because that's going to take us to it. That's about a whole another hour. We touch on that, and 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 the way that it's that it's going to get touched on. I can tell you right now, we're going to be getting phone calls from strange numbers, leaving messages like, "All right, now, you know, I need to chill." <laughs> Yeah. Cause they don't play, you know. You gonna have the black suits coming through, like, yo, man, we like your show, but y'all motherfuckers need to chill. What y'all need? How much y'all want? You ain't got a figure for me. <laughs> <laughs> yo, we just was on the check in, man. The two grumpy men. I know we putting it out there, but I mean, it's real. Like, kids come up missing every year, you know, and nobody knows. So. Coronavirus is a very good distraction. You know, it's happening. Don't get me wrong. The shit is out here. It's real. But they got something coming down the pike. You know, the vaccine is coming. They've been working on it for a while. Um, uh, you know, oh, that's going to lead to more controversy. Yeah, more controversy. You know, uh, but the kids, the best thing for the kids right now so they cannot be guinea pigs is to do the online learning. But, you know, that also requires people to be home with them. So you dumb down a whole generation. So how can they really teach them anything? You know, you dumbed them down. Like like it, like they the, the diabolicalness of, of systemic oppression is crazy. Like cuz they definitely 40 50 years ahead. You know, they chipping people like we walking around with chips all day. We got we got debit cards. They know where we go. They're going to eliminate cash. <laughs> so, you know, the next thing is to just put the chip in your skin. Like I mean, shit, they ain't, they already chipping animals. They chip the dog so you don't find, so you can find your dog. They doing that, but you really think they they don't want to chip a human being so you can find a human being? Come on. You know, but like you said, that's a story for another day. Where can they find us at? Where can they find us at, Rob? Two grubby men. Where can they find us? Talk to the people. <laughs> Catch us on Instagram, two grumpy men. Catch us on all streaming systems. Arrow. Catch us on Patreon. We here. We out here. No, no doubt. Patreon.com backslash Too Grumpy. No doubt. TooGrumpyMen.com. Come through. Get your knowledge on. Get some gear on. You know what I mean? Get some e-books. Like, yo, at the bit, yo we, we was way ahead of the curve. We knew. Electronic learning, baby. Yo, get an ebook. I got a, I got hundreds of ebooks. You know, <laughs> we got yeah. shit that we'll never sell. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> no, but we got the we get word. We got the merchandise. So come through. You know, support. You know, definitely. You know, reach out. And uh, I just want to thank all of the other podcasts that's out there that rock with us. You know, and um, I like uh, let me shout out Urban X. You know, we we rock with them, Urban Excellence. Yeah, yeah. Those are those are our yeah, brothers yeah. over there on the YouTube. They strong. Check them out. There's no doubt about that. My man, brother Rich, Black Magic, three sixty three. You know, rock with them. Yeah. Yo, know, it's so many yeah. to name, man. But the two grumpy men, C Grooms and Bobby May. We in the building. We ain't going nowhere. nowhere. But we always gonna keep it a hundred percent factual. And we don't care about feelings because we trying to spark the mind. And that's it, man. We out of here. Can't say it no better. We gone. Peace. Peace.